I know you're wondering, Josh Laurent, you're the GOAT, you're 22 years old. I almost said 21, but my birthday was last week by the time watching this video. So, I know you're wondering, how do you have this? Unlock this dough. Wait, first, while I unlocked it, you just gotta see him back to back again. That is a fire lineup. What you doing for that lineup, champ? You cutting your balls off? Cutting your Tesco off? Let me know. It's like, no. Nah. But open the door, doors go up. You know what go down, champ. You know what go down when them doors go up, so keep a girl away from me. You know what I'm talking about, because I'm lit T. Back shots. What? <laughs> Look at the booty on this thing. And it's a light, too. Oh, yeah, that red light in there is kind of fire. Get in. Cold start. <laughs> When you race car driver, you do stuff like that, drive in the rain and all of that tight beat type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I hope y'all are enjoying these videos, man. If you are, go down, smash the like button, man. I hope you still eating your food, too. Y'all told me y'all too rich for leftovers, so I can't even say leftovers. Hope you having a marvelous steak. You know what I'm saying? Your mom made the steak, your wife made the steak. Hope you eat it good, man. Yeah, we, I don't know how I just got caught up driving the McLaren in the rain. But I did, so. Ooh. Oh, It'll grow back. Thanks, bro. Thank you. <laughs> By association. <laughs> you like that. <laughs> It'll grow back, don't worry. This is a race car. It's meant to do that. <laughs> We pull in, it's great parkour, but it's cool. Look at this, bro, the line on. Facts. There's a Sprinter van? Bro, that's it, I wanna hop out the Sprinter van like so bad. That is low key hard. Bro, why did I scrape so hard coming in? Because you came in with pace, bro. I did come in fast. What's going on, brother? What's man? Up, how bro? you doing? Good, how you doing? Chilling, chilling. Dude, look at this fucking line up, Saints, bro. Aston trucks, blue, Ferraris, Cullinan. Where's our park at? Uh, anywhere really. I'm parking on the GT3. If you go further back, there's some spots. Really? Yeah. I don't know, right here's kind of chill. Park it, park it here. It's young Devon. Yeah. <laughs> 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 He's like, nah. Nah. Why is Devin looking like a G? Facts, look at Devin looking like top G. What's up, homie? Look what's next to us, by the way, same squat. To the side. right, to the right. Oh, dude. Why is Chloe blowing me up? She's like ruining my backup camera and I can't see as is. And, and no pressure or anything. <laughs> Facts. Don't fuck up. Dude, I'm telling you, man. It doesn't do it just. The camera doesn't do it justice. This car is way better in person. I like that. You spitting? No fake. And then look what's next to it. The 720 is here as well. So we got him back to back to back to back. The Regera's leaving. Still on my chili yesterday, boy. Josh, I come y'all with another banger video. I know I'm saying it's kind of late into the video, but you see what's going on, man. So my number one key is surround yourself where you want to be. Okay, that's the number one thing. If you want to be great, you got to surround yourself with greatness. You've never seen a coming egg in your life. You got to be around it. It's sticky. All the way over there. I'm sprinting. Bro, Josh, I'm going, bro. Bro, I'm going. No, bro, come on, bro. Don't leave. You gatekeeping me. Bro. He's gatekeeping me. Right. Tell Nico these girls got to be on his time, not they time. Hey, Squad, I got to be in LA by Calabasas. By nine. Book what time it is. Come on, I gotta go. Bro, tell these girls you tell tell Nico these girls gotta be on his time. He don't be on their time. He gotta be one of them ones. Sure. Hey, hit me up, alright? You got it, you got it. He's security. You're good. Bro, this is my one bro. I've been trying to get with this chick for months. What's up, bro? Danica? What's up, bro? Bro, no way the cops shut it down. Police! Police! Help! Bro! I was 
the cops shut it down, I guess. And then I guess there's the Origins meet tonight, but it is raining outside. I don't think I'm going to go because I'm lit. I don't even got to go. I pulled in. I scraped, but I'm really one of the ones. The buffer stayed on because I got an MFR kit and it stayed on. I don't know if we're going to go. It's raining and I don't really want to. Well, the cops have shut this whole thing down. And then people want to leave, but they're blocking everyone in here. Hey, I got to look at this, bro. What? Walk up to the house, we even got a bathroom in the back. No we way. We got a bathroom, a full functioning bathroom. No way, bro. <laughs> full functioning bathroom. This is fire. Oh, I gotta take a shit, boss. Bro, you could take a dookie in there. Oh, I shouldn't cuss on your channel, I'm sorry. It's okay, YouTube yeah. update uh, this stuff. I'm gonna stuff. get my stuff, I'm gonna get my business started. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Bro, that's content right here. Yo, y'all got any not worth a white. This is fire, Dude, bro. Sit down. They're comfy as shit. Bro, what? Bro. So we got iPads installed in the walls. It's legit. Fire. Yeah. That's fire, bro. I've never been in a sprinter van before. Like this type of one. Leave this here. This is I'm so fire. I'm scared. I'm so scared. What are you scared for? Ain't nothing gonna happen to you. That food touch is nice. Scared. And touch your car, bro. You didn't touch this dick, dog. What? 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 You like that? You like that? <laughs> so we are about to get this reel going, man. Or this might be the next day, type B too. You never know. But uh, yeah. <laughs> That's too loud. <laughs> you like that? That my ears, bro. Wow. That's my first time seeing this name pop flames with like my own eyes and not a video. So. <laughs> Adilio Martilio, this is the behind the scenes of the type beat, type beat of the real type beat. Bam. Are you serious for a second? I'm like, no one he ain't here. <laughs> no, you said it You're right. <laughs> if it ain't snowing, he ain't going. Same squad be horsing me. Me and Nico explained this to you on one of these days, but you know, you know, you know, we just making reels. You see my Instagram, just around with two T's. That's how the reels are. So, I'm gonna put that work in. Bro, people whoring, he's staring, taking pictures. What the heck? <laughs> Behind the scenes here, we got Adam and Andy. What's up, guys? We are about to make a reel. And you know I'm back in the vlog. Feel me? It's about to be lit. We're about to go to another spot and shoot. Josh is about to readjust this. Let's get his reaction. Oh, he saw the booty. This little kid saw the movie too. Yeah. Martilio, Martilio. My name is Josh Laurent. Welcome back to another video. You know what day it is. We're making money, making bread, baby. Let's go. Top G type shit. You like that, Nico, or what? Nico finna be bricked up today, or what? Bro, this ain't going on YouTube, bro. Yes, it is. I'm, I'm This no. is my channel now. Right, Nico? Same squad ain't gonna like that. No, they, they might agree with you, bro. No. Sorry if this whole video is extremely random, but you, do got, you guys do ask, what do you do for a living? Live life, champ. Now, if we'll get a full explanation, this is just the intermediate break, but we'll have a full explanation. Watch the full video and don't skip. You know you got you got your food. We don't like greasy remotes, champ. Don't skip the videos. Smash the like button, too. All right, let's well, copy the bottom. If no, 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 I'll sit on your lap. I mean, I don't, I you think I'm heavier. I'll sit on your lap. That's fine. I'll be a bottom. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, let me go like this. That's heat. You got just free money in your car? Type B. It's like, <laughs> nah. It's a tick. Oh my gosh. Damn! <laughs> you. No, you good? No, I feel like it's I should be on the No, no, come back. It's okay. It's good. I like it. I like it. I feel like I should be on the no, bottom. No, come back. I was meant for this. You was meant for this. <laughs> Strong. It's so Elena goes to the gym. That's why she can handle it. This is what a full day of making 
content and stuff look like because I'm lit. Y'all be going crazy on the Instagram. Thank you for that. Check out the Instagram if you haven't already. You know, but um, we just had them out the window dangling. Lit stuff. Check we nearly out. fell out. He was turning. Yeah, I did donuts, bro. I told Nico, turn the camera on. Nico's like, bro, hold on, bro. I started fumbling. He almost dropped it on everything. I'm like, Nico, bro. So I just burnt the tires. Y'all didn't even see my bat, man. Wait, 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 where did I do that? We got the one and only one of one Josh Laurent. Of course, the GOAT. Do a fit check. How much is your fit worth? I don't even know, but me, it's unlimited. You know, when the GOAT wear it, it's one of ones, you Turn know? Around. That's hard. Turn around, let me see the chain. Hard. See the watch. What are we wearing? Oh, I like that. You like that. You like that. What is this? Why are we filming this? Is this like. I think I should be a vlogger. Is that filming? You think so? Yeah. We gotta talk in the video. Now we're at the part of the video where I know a couple of you probably clicked on for this part of the video. All the random stuff in the beginning just to show you what I go through every day, how lit and how amazing life can be, which leads into this part of the video. So, Josh Laurent, you may ask. Come up to me. Josh Laurent, the GOAT, one of them ones. How? How do you have Lamborghini Huracan, McLaren 720, AMG GT, AMG C43, how? Beautiful, amazing apartment in California. Woman, there, 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 big booty, there. You might sit there and ask, just learn how? All at the ripe age of 22 years old. Well, I'm here to tell you that if this is your first video, let me introduce myself a little bit, tell a tiny bit of the story behind me and everything as well. So. I am Josh. I am from Michigan originally. I still live in Michigan. I'm a Michigan baby born and raised to I DIE. You know what I'm saying? You know me. So I am from Michigan. I live in Michigan, just in California for business, back and forth, business trips, make content, all of that fun stuff. And I am 22 years old. So I came to California about a year ago, came back and forth, got a place here because it would be cheaper because I was staying for a little bit longer of time, still back and forth. So this is the shocking part, which I am very vocal about this in my videos as well. I come from a high middle class family. So my mom, she was pretty big in banks and stuff and everything. But what makes my story interesting and how I'm able to do the stuff I do is throughout those years when I turned 18, my mom quit to quit her job to do chase the entrepreneurial route and we literally lost everything. So we lost everything, lost money, lost all of that stuff to the point where I was having to give my mom, helping my mom out with bills so we could just stay in the house and everything. And that taught me the mindset that I have. That taught me how to hustle, how to make my own money, not just have my mom as a cloud because through my whole life I always knew like if anything happened I have my mom and she would save me so when I had that cushion taken away from me that's where I have to learn how to do everything myself and made me to the goat I am today which I always understood this and I always knew this so we'll start with the basics on how do I afford the stuff that I do how do I afford the cars and all of this stuff I feel like I make a bunch of videos on this all the time but you know stuff can change everything changes what do I do to afford this what I do is I'm a youtuber so that's all YouTube hard work catch you guys in the next video smash the like button peace no I'm playing but I'm a youtuber I do business things I'm an influencer type beat you know what I'm saying I know how to maximize my network I know how to monetize myself to the maximum of T's to be able to do things on this scale. No, there's no sketchy things behind it. I do have my blow up on YouTube method book. I also have my monthly mentorship program, which we will talk more about later in this video. But there isn't anything that I'm hiding. I don't trade stocks. I don't do real estate and all of that fancy stuff. I'm too impatient for real I'm too impatient for stocks and real estate is something big that you have to focus on once you build the first branch. Patrick Ben David talks about that, shout out to him. So I focus on my one thing, which is all around being an influencer, all of that stuff. I make money through YouTube, make money through Instagram, I have sponsorships, I do promos, all of that stuff. I have a couple big sponsors and all of those things. That's basically what I do, how I make money. So break it down this way, the Huracan is $3,600 a month. The AMG is $1,200 a month, which is with Newport Drip right now, which you can buy the AMG off me, just DM me or email me. Both will be linked in the description below. The C43 is $600 a month. The apartment between me and Andy is like $4K, so we each pay $2K. Then getting gas and all that stuff. So this stuff adds up pretty, pretty fast and pretty quick if you 
if you do the math, you know what I'm saying? Because I know y'all doing the math in your head right now. So, how can I keep up with that? Everything starts with your mindset. You have to have a certain and right type of mindset to do these type of things. So, the first thing is mindset. The second thing is network. Those two things is what makes the world go around. So, first, let's start with your mindset. The right mindset that you have to have to be able to do things on this type of scale is change how you think a lot of people say i can't afford this instead of saying how can i afford this that's the number one thing you have to do that was the number one thing that helped me change from what i did quick story i had my scat pack didn't have any money i probably had 200 dollars in my account just have to give a thousand to my mom after i hustled that up with my merch okay have to learn how to hustle on my own have to give my money to my mom only had 200 dollars left now the calipers you'll actually see this video if you look it up 2019 scat pack stripes or whatever on my scat pack just on my channel you'll see this video so only had two hundred dollars to wrap my calipers and to do the straps on the car is two hundred dollars so i'm like oh man this is all i have i can't eat all this stuff what am i gonna do should i even do this whatever and then something in my mind told me i want to give a big shout out to tall guy mr organic who said you can't have no financial fears i was just like skip it I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna invest into myself. I'm gonna do this. Boom. Spent the $200. There's a whole backstory to it, which I'm really not gonna go in public on it, which is kind of messed up, crazy type beat. But this was my first learning of sponsorships and business as a trade value type of thing, also. But we're not gonna go into that because it's kind of bold. But have to spend my last bang. I'm like, oh man, I'm broke. I don't have nothing, whatever. Now look, this was in a time where. I was in the transition period from doing like public interviews to like car content, vlogs and stuff. But what number one thing that helped me is I was always doing vlogs even back then. So I still vlog my life but now it's around cars. So, you know, it's a more mature thing, a more longevity thing that can last forever. Except for the public interviews and all that stuff which has died out and I would have been a goner by now, by the way. So transition period, nobody was watching my channel. It's like building a new channel from scratch. I wasn't getting any views, all of that stuff. YouTube recently deleted my channel as well because of all the old stuff. That's why I transitioned because it was just immature. YouTube was getting strict and I like doing what I do. Once I dropped that video with the rap, it got about, I think it got up to like 15 to 20K views. And that is the most views I had in a while, dude. Like I'm telling you, I was only pulling about 3K views every single video, like two to 3K views every video. I wasn't making any money. So once you get 15 to 20k views on a video like that, oh man, I thought I was on the popping. And then that made me learn, what you put in is what you get out. I spent my last on this, but I made, I made about $400 off of that video. Just because even car video CPMs are like 10 times higher than the regular stuff. So I made $400 off of that video. And that really switched off my mind like, okay, if I want to do something, if I want to be great, I have to invest into myself. I have to spend money to make money. I have to spend money to go somewhere. You want some big money, you got to take some big risks. And that's where I learned that the first time. So that was my starting of becoming the GOAT that I am today. It's changing your mindset. You have to alter your mindset. You have to be able to add up. You can't say, oh, this is $500 a month. I don't have $500. You have to be able to say, okay, this is $500 a month. How do, how do I get five people to send me $100? That is what you have to do. That is how you alter your mind to think. You can't say, I can't afford it. That pushes you into a corner. But once you say, how can I afford it? Your brain goes into overdrive and thinks of ideas on how you can afford something. That is one of the ways I'm able to afford the things that I do. So it all starts with your mindset. It's not, I can't, it's how can I? You have to always think progressively once you move towards something. Now, the second thing is network. Your network is one of the biggest things you need in life. Honest, dead truth is that is how the world goes around. So recently, the views started going down on the channel and stuff. I was focusing too much on other people, trying to get, trying to do other things instead of sticking true to what I was doing. Now I stick true to what I'm doing, everything going back up. Thank you, God. Thank you, Saints Squad, for loving me. We, uh, we have our own clout. We don't need anything off anybody else because we are the star. Remember that. You always got to be confident in yourself like that. So I went through that. I have to learn that myself. And what that made me really think of is your network is your strongest thing. Now, when you have an extremely strong network, you cannot be beaten. So example, I'll give you an example on what I do. My network is I can get approved for any car that I want. 
I can get any car for wholesale that I want. I have a police officer out here who will write off my ticket. When, they, when I have to write off a ticket, so it's $25 for a ticket. I have someone who does like background work for me sometimes, aka my mom, she does that, she's part of my team. I have someone who's done my background work for, for me at times. I have someone who talks to big companies for big sponsorships at times as well. I have something that makes the world a whole lot easier, okay? So, number one thing with network is Find people who excel in the business that you are a part of. Me is car, so I need someone, I need a bank that will approve me. I need a dealership that we can get the cars from for wholesale, not deal with all these grimy dealership people, okay? Find a network in what you do, so those people, your team, will improve you in life and take you the easier route in life. This is one thing that you need to learn that makes you, that helps you understand money. Business isn't just money. Yes, you need money in, but business is also a value of exchange. So if you're able to exchange this for that, that is, as, that is business as well as money. A lot of you people pay for stuff because you don't have any value to add to them. Now me, as a YouTuber, all the, com all the shops I work with, shout out to the sponsors and everything, I add value of promotion so I get huge discounts or either sometimes free, free stuff, okay? That is how it works. The whole goal is to make way more money and spend way less. That, that's the margins. That's why all these companies do, that's why Nike make their stuff in India and all this stuff. Make more money, spend less money. That is the value exchange of business. So let's say you want to be a YouTuber, you want to have a value exchange. You offer promotion for a front splitter for your car. That is a value exchange. If you have no value, you're paying for the front splitter. That's how that works. Now, you build a strong network like this. You need a front splitter, you find a shop, you're starting off YouTuber. Now, you go up to the shop and tell them, hey, I'm a YouTuber, I'll offer you promotion for a discount, free sometimes, but a discount, free, we could do this. Value exchange, you might have to pay a little, but your value took that price down. That is how you gotta think of it. And now, you have someone in your network to where you're not paying the average price, you're not paying the regular price as everyone else does. You're paying your price because you have that different type of value and that is your network, your friend, who is there to help you out for your business as you help their business out as well. That is the value exchange in business. That is how your network should work. Now, my network works like this. So, we have our, we, I have my credit union that approves me for anything, which they will be sponsoring me pretty soon. So, stay tuned for that. You guys will be able to join my credit union as well because they have a perfect message that aligns with me approving younger people because these bigger banks don't give us a chance but they will so just stay tuned for that i'm super excited to release that to you guys but my credit union believes in me they are my network if i need a car um boom i want to get this car they're like okay send it through five minutes later approve bang zero down and that is the beauty if you want to know something i'll let you guys in on a tiny bit of a secret i got my mclaren for zero down okay all these people say they put 40k down all this stuff on these supercars and stuff i got it zero down Want to know why? That is the network, that is the connection I have built with my credit union, and that that is how important a network can be. Remember, the goal is to make this, spend this. You don't want to spend this to make this. That is the importance of a network. And also, another importance of a network, this is how it worked. When we went to go get the McLaren, I seen it, the McLaren was in Riverside. I said, okay, I'm going to drive over there, drive over there, go see it. I fell in love with it. Call up the dealership, call Junior, shout out to Junior. Say, oh, I want this one. He's like, okay, give me the number. We'll buy it right now, get it shipped next week. Boom. So 10 minutes of me seeing it, when I filmed that video, you guys can watch that video as well. 10 minutes, call Junior, I want this. Junior said, okay, we'll buy it. Boom, wholesale, lower than the price that we got it. So when insurance paid it out, when I crashed, I made a profit on it. Network. Everything is easier. Life is more simple with a strong network as well. Those are the two things that you need to start being able to do what you want to do. That is my business model, that's my business plan of, like I keep explaining, make, spend. That is how you maximize on everything that you do. Another thing with mindset is, I grew up with a very, I guess I could say, I grew up with a very dark mind to where I was very dark, but it helped me understand the world in a better place. A lot of you guys were complaining like, oh, you say, when I got pulled over in my last video, oh, you said he was a cool cop, but he still gave you a ticket. Yeah, he was cool. He was still doing his job. I've been to the point where, remember LAPD impounded my car, and I had the dealership on the phone trying to talk to him, and they said no? Now, that's rude. 
But this cop was cool, chill. He, had, at the end of the day, his job is to give handout tickets. It was my fault. I had Savannah in the Huracan. I'm trying to show off. I was popping. I popped next to him. Okay, I take responsibility for that. He was cool. He gave me the little ticket where I just write it off, got it wrote off, paid the $25. Okay? You guys are like, oh, he still gave you a ticket. That, that's their job. You can't be mad at someone for doing their job, but you can appreciate how they do about their job. At least to the point of you have to understand how the world works. No, yes, the world is corrupt. Yes, the world may be crooked. Yes, the world is ran by humans. If you have the chance to play someone 1v1 for $10,000, you're gonna cheat during the game. That's how the world is and that's how the world operates. So you have to learn to play with, within the game of the world, not try to change the world until you're big enough and the world will change off your image. Behind that, you have to understand how everything works. You have to understand how money works. You have to understand how people work. You have to understand how to talk to people, how to get people, get people to invest into you. You have to understand how everything works. And you have to understand that the world is not fair. No matter how wrong, no matter how bold it may seem that the world is, and be like, oh, that's just not fair. You have to understand the world isn't fair and play the game of the world and win. You have to understand the rules of the world and win under those rules, not under the circumstances of, oh, it should be like this because that's not fair. Oh, this not. You can't do that. If you want to win in life, you have to understand the real world and play the games of the real world and then you will be able to change them once you're big enough. I promise and I guarantee you that. Two things we cover in this is how do I afford this? I have all these bills that I have to pay every single month. How do I make the money to pay this? I need to make $3,000. How can I get three people to give me $1,000? How can I get five people? to give me $500. It's the mindset of how can I afford it now, I can't afford it, and then you build up that way. You just need three people in three days out of 31 days. That is how you can do it. You have to change your mindset into the how can I not, I can't. When you do that, you come up with ideas and what you know on how to make money. You can make money any type of way. The rain is coming down, but I don't care, I'm still talking to you on the rain because you need a little rain for, for some rainbows. I learned that one from Top G himself. So, those are the type of things that you need and that is what you have to learn. So those three things that we talked about in this mindset, network, and how the real world works is what I can teach you in more in depth. So I do have my monthly mentorship program that I teach you guys one-on-one -on, -one on how to blow up on YouTube, business advice, life advice, and my number one thing is to teach you how the real world works so we both can excel in this. Yes, it costs a fee, but the number one thing is you have to invest into yourself. Knowledge is power. Power is more important than money you learn. Example, you get like, you get pulled over, loud exhaust, shoot up flames. The cop likes you, okay? You have 100K next to you. You can't give the cop 100K and say, don't pull me, don't give me a ticket. That's bribery. The cop likes you. Oh man, you just drive safe. I'll let you go. That is how the world works. Okay, that's how it works. Knowledge is knowledge is power. Power is more important than money. Remember that. So you have to invest into yourself. So my mentorship, we talk literally every single day. I help you grow your YouTube channel. I give you the business advice you need. So even if you don't have YouTube, we can still do business advice, how to make money, what you need to do to make money. And we also give you life advice and teach you how the real world works. I'll just tell you the price now. It is $500 a month for the mentorship program. Later on in the year, we will have a website with the courses and all of that where everyone can come together, talk to each other, all this stuff. I'm excited about that, and we'll grow together and build an empire, Saint Squad. Y'all gonna all be congressmen. So, you have that. Uh, also, if you are strictly YouTube and just want a book step-by-step -step that you can go by, I do have my Blow Up on YouTube Method book, which is a two-page book. I'm telling you the price on this as well so we don't get any people who, who are fake olas. $200 for the Blow Up on YouTube Method book, which teaches you from beginner on what editing software you should use to how to do your thumbnails, to what camera you should get for a first camera, to the advanced, how to get in a recommended, how to get into the algorithm, how to get more interactions on your channel. That is what the Blow Up on YouTube Method teaches you. So if you're interested in these, you can email me or you can DM me on Instagram, I jump around with two T's and I'll reach out to you immediately. I want to saw the Girl Saints Squad. My whole goal for starting YouTube was not to make money, but was to motivate people and make people feel good and be a beacon of light in this cold world. There's no light without dark. Remember that, Saints Squad. Stay consistent. Number one thing is staying consistent. You have to stay consistent with everything. You need speed, but you need discipline. You need speed, but you need patience. Those two things equal consistency.
You need to be consistent in whatever you do, don't give up. I know this sounds pretty cliche, but the truth is don't give up. You have to work hard, even, even though it seems like it's not going nowhere, just keep going and it'll eventually go somewhere because you will be rewarded for not giving up, so don't give up. I'm sitting in the rain for y'all right now, by the way, so I can finish up for y'all. You'll learn more in the mentorship once you sign up for the mentorship. I'll teach you guys literally everything. I can't give out all the deets because some people will just listen, but all the all the details and everything is for the people who actually want to learn. So they'll try to learn, they'll invest into themselves to learn how it actually works. So I'm 22, any girl I want, drive supercars, have an amazing place in California. I'm living life. and. And I'm still going up. My goal, my new goal is, yes, I do want a Ventador. That is the upgrade car after the Huracan. But my ultimate goal that is far, maybe not far, who knows. I want a big house in Pelican Hills and I want a Coney's Egg. And we will get there and we'll get there together. So you guys will continue to watch me as I grow together. We'll grow together, Saint Squad. So I'm happy for you guys here supporting me. If this is your first video, welcome to the channel. We lit, we got bangers. She's seen a little bit what goes on in the beginning of the video because you know the grind don't stop. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If this, if this was knowledgeable, if you were just being nosy but actually learned something good, if you did enjoy this video, go down and smash that like button, then subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more bangers because you already know I only post bangers. I am going home. You probably won't see that in the next video, but I'm going home back to Michigan, so we'll have an update on the C43, which got crashed when I tried to rent it out. I took an L there. You'll take losses, but losses aren't losses. They're only lessons. Remember, that's a big L. That's a lesson, not a loss. So you learn from your mistakes, and you got to keep moving forward. I have an update on that, and we'll just be at home with family, friends we haven't seen in a while, and probably hit Wilbur too, because it's supposed to be nice one of those days. Right now, we don't need to be sad, so I'm going to cut y'all off so y'all don't be sad in the rain. And you know the grind don't stop till the casket drop. Shout out to Slim, shout out to Organic. I told you guys a little bit more. I told you guys a little things how I afford it. But if you're interested and truly interested in taking your life to the next level and changing your life, blow up on YouTube Method. I have that book for sale and my monthly mentorship program. Let's change your life and I'll introduce you to the real world and how you can change your life and make money. I'll teach you champ. You gotta do is invest into yourself. Are you willing to invest into yourself? That's the number one question. If you are, hit me up. Instagram in the description, Josh Laurent with two T's, as well as my email, joshlaurentpromotions at gmail.com. Hit me up, let's work together. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video though. We got a night meet, it was lit. Everything was lit, we got the friends out. It was turned. Now let's have some fun. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.